Your Invisible Power by Genevieve Berend. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter 17 Things to Remember Remember that the greatest mental scientist the world has ever known, Jesus Christ, the man, said that all things are possible unto you. Also, the things I do, you can do. Did he tell the truth? Jesus did not claim to be more divine than you are. He declared the whole human race children of God. By birth he was no exception to this rule. The power he possessed was developed through his personal effort. He said you could do the same if you would only believe in yourself. A great idea is valueless unless accompanied by physical action. God gives the idea, man works it out on the physical plane. All that is really worthwhile is contentment. Self-command alone can produce it. The soul and body are one. Contentment of mind is contentment of soul, and contentment of soul means contentment of body. If you wish health, watch your thoughts, not only of your physical being, but your thoughts about everything and everybody. With your will, keep them in line with your desire, and outwardly act in accordance with your thoughts, and you will soon realize that all power, both over thoughts and conditions, has been given to you. You believe in God. Believe in yourself as the physical instrument through which God operates. Absolute dominion is yours when you have sufficient self-mastery to conquer the negative tendency of thoughts and actions. Ask yourself daily, what is the purpose of the power which put me here? How can I work with the purpose for life and liberty in me? Upon having decided these questions, endeavour hourly to fulfil them. You are a law unto yourself. If you have a tendency to overdo anything, eat, drink, or blame circumstances for your misfortune, conquer that tendency with the inward conviction that all power is yours outwardly. Eat less, drink less, blame circumstances less, and the best there is will gradually grow into the place where the worst seem to be. Always remember that all is yours to use as you will. You can if you will. If you will, you do. God the Father blesses you with all he has to give. Make good godly use of it. The reason for greater success when you first began your studies and demonstrations in mental science is that your joy and enthusiasm at the simple discovery of the power within was greater than you have been able to put into your understanding later. With increased understanding, put increasing joy and enthusiasm, and the results will correspond. End of chapter 17 End of Your Invisible Power by Genevieve Berend Read by Algie Pug